welcome to another video of power automate today so in today's video we will be checking how can we check the status of the machine at the runtime and based on the status of the machine how can we perform different operations in power automate cloud this one is a requested video so i thought of making it and i thought of making it a short video so quickly let's get started right so <clears throat> i'll create a cloud flow which says uh, machine status right i'll just have a manually and click create i'll go to my favorite old designer i'll just uh, initialize a variable called the machine you know status i'll make it as string also i will be having a variable called a machine id right i'll explain in a minute why i am initializing these variables so i'll have this machine id right this one will also be a string kind of variable so it's always a best practice that you rename these in i initialize variable uh, for now i'll leave it to you right so in order to get the status of the machine we have you know a table and power automate right you go into the table section and you find a table of flow machines just like or just similar table we have flow sessions where we can see all the desktop flow activities right the status of every flow similarly we have a flow machine table i'll just quickly jump onto these tables right and i'll search for flow machine right so this is the table that we require in this automation right so this is the table mm, okay yes so this is the table so it has all the required fields right which we require in this our automation right so uh, there is no value currently in this table for me because this is a development environment and there is no machine hosted on this environment right so once you host a machine once you connect a machine to a particular environment a row is automatically appended to this table mentioning the name of the machine the date of its creation the agent version and all the things which are required right so okay one minute <laughs> okay so from this table what we require is the machine id and where do we get this machine id from is oh, wait yeah so you see here it has all the columns and here if you go into flow machine column and click on edit column right into the advanced option you will see the logical name as flow machine id so every time you create a machine you add a machine to an environment an id is being assigned to that flow machine right and that id we will utilize here right so i'll go to my create flow i'll just <coughs> get the action list rows right you can use from selected environment i'll just use this one flow sorry machines there are other tables also so in this i only want the machine id for my particular machine right so what i'll do is you can mention the columns you want right and you can mention the machine name here how do you mention the machine name is for example you need the id of a particular machine right so you go into your table again and you see in here it has a name you click on edit column and then you go to the advanced options and under the logical name this is the logical name the name is simply name you go here and you enter it like this name eq let's say that your machine name is one right this is how you can give and then you can just say one now let me save it and test this one Right, so flow uh, ran successfully. I'll just go in here and see my raw output. As you know that there are no rows currently, that's why it is coming as, if you see the values, values, there are no values in this table, right? So what I'll do is, I'll just change this since in the previous video, uh, I have uh, created a dummy table for the machines, right? I'll utilize that, uh, that 
table right so in the check machine status i'll quickly go to this check machine status table right if you don't know how to create tables in power automate you can check my previous video right so here we have a table right and here i have the machine name that created on the status and the guid so what i'll do is i'll just copy the logical name of my column machine name right so here is the logical name it has i'll go to edit flow and i'll just filter it as like this right so in in the production on the in the real environment what you have to do is in place of check machine status status table you just have to go with the flow machine table right so <clears throat> from the flow uh, when you run it you will have an output like this we have right so it has filtered us the value if you see the status is online and the machine name which we mentioned is machine one right so this is how you can get the machine now what i need is the unique id for this table right and through this unique id we can check the status of the table right so i'll just click edit again now i want to get the id so i'll add a new step right i will have a compose right and inside this i will simply have the i will search for guid <clears throat> and I'll, I'll have the guid and then i will assign this guid to my variable right so i'll have a variable which i already have a, a variable so i'll choose set variable and i will have a machine id and i will assign the output of this compose right so i'll quickly have a test on this okay so now if you see you have the machine id for the particular machine right now you want to check the status of that machine so how do you check the status of that machine for that we have an action in dataverse right so in dataverse if you see below to get the status of the machine we have an action of perform an unbound action so there are two operation one is perform a bound action and another one is perform an unbound action bound action is basically performed on a particular table right so it will get you data from a particular table although the unbound action is performed on the multiple tables so i'll choose unbound action and from unbound action i will check the patch get machine flow status right so what it will <coughs> take is the machine id and where do i have my machine id i have the machine id in my variable right and what is the version version you can leave it blank so this action will give you output in an array format right in the, the json of array okay so <coughs> from using this you will get the status now how will you get the status since uh, I will not get the status because this machine ID does not exist. I'll just quickly have a test on this. Right, so as you see, it has failed. Right, it says the invalid machine ID because this machine ID does not exist. But if you get the machine ID from your flows, machine table and enter it here it will get you the status of the machine now this variable also will not go like this it will be uh, it will go as a you know string fight array so you have to close this string into an array right like this so once you have this you will get a response from this unbound action now how will the how the response will be from this action i'll quickly show you that also so I'll just have a variable, one another variable. I will have it as variable and initialize variable. Right, and I'll take it as object because the output of this unbound action, this what we have used here will be an JSON array and the value will look like this right so there is a body of this unbound action and it will be like this it has two columns namely o data context and the machine status like this right and in here you will have the machine id what is your machine id is uh, that you get from here right so you have the machine id and 
here and then you have the status here for example it could be busy it could be online right it could be locked out so like this your status will be seen here in the output of your perform an unbound action this is how the output will look so what i'll do is i'll just delete this action because this will always give us an error <coughs> right and in place of that we will use this action right so once uh, we apply this what we will going to do is we will parse we'll use parse json right the content content is basically the output of uh, our uh, variable or output of our perform unbound action and then we will have this schema right we will have this schema i'll just quickly have a test this. so why i'm doing like this is because i was not able to connect my machine to this because currently i'm using office home version and in office home version uh, the connect machine functionality is not available so i hope you will understand this the how the the uh, this is how i am explaining you right so this is how you will get your output right for example this so we have in two columns here so what we have to do is extract this machine status value so for this what i'll do is let's choose edit let's try with set variable If you see we already have a column with machine status right i'll just test this one right my flow ran successfully this time and if you go here we have this our output we have the machine id and we have the status and this is a string value now there is an <clears throat> only one thing that we can do is we will have a condition right now what we will do is we will say that if your machine status right contains busy right if the machine status is busy then you just you can just you know add here that okay <coughs> you can have a text of flow execution here text of flows and here you can call your desktop flow right you can uh, give any of your desktop flow and here you can say that okay if it is not there then just terminate the flow with a succeeded message right or you can say a failed message like this like this you can check the status of the machine and trigger your desktop flows is as simple as that or you can also say that okay if it contains online right then uh, you can uh, trigger your desktop flow in here and if not if it is not online then you can you know trigger an email maybe or send a message to the teams that your uh, machine is currently not online so this is how you can check status of the machine uh, let me know in the comment section below if you like this video like share and subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next video bye